Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we gotta do some things on this thing. You know, some things on this thing. Yeah, yeah, very descriptive of me. Um, I think I might wait till Don gets here to do the hood latch thing. I gotta drill him out wider because when Don gets here, we have to time his S14, uh, ignition timing and all that. Oh, and uh, I also bought a new car. You guys ready for my new car? Because it's right here. All right, guys, this is my new car. New car. Just kidding. <laughs> this is my buddy's car. Let me get them blast pipes, boy. Need them, Johns. Shorter, though, but I need those. But yeah, this is his drift car. He drifts at Lock City. It's insanely nice. Right here. Follow that. The setup, he bought Don's seat. Looks really good in here, actually. Dash looks awesome. It's just a really nice car. You know, four door, he got the wrapped back seats with the bride. You know, slight flexes. Uh, this might be the biggest flex. And the thing that I'm most excited to see because he painted the bay midnight purple and also it has a reliable engine in it, unlike most. So, it's like midnight purple with like a gold flake. And he did this out of a can. It looks amazing, dude. This car has been built to the T with like... I wish he was here to explain everything, but the other day when he was here, just telling us about it, I could tell like, you know, he was not fucking around like like Chase Bays. Like, I, I don't even want to give like a full a full rundown on this. Because he could definitely explain a lot better than I can. Maybe he'll come through this week. Hey, I got the same radiator. Coil rad. Not the same. Obviously, this is a little bit thicker for that big ass straight six boy. But the reason it's actually here is because Ronnie's doing a full freaking exhaust on this thing. Because he was like about to pay this shop. And the shop was like taking forever. So I was like, dude, I got you. Hit up Ronnie. He will bless your shit. And uh, yeah. So I don't know. If you guys want to see like uh, a more in-depth like look into this, um, let me know. Maybe we could set something up with them. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick because that there is a beautiful car, and it ain't no bitch-ass show car. This thing is scripted, and it's got a 2J. Not no RB nonsense. I say RB nonsense. I do love the RB. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to have one for a show car. And obviously, no, I don't have that much experience with RBs, but I've watched enough videos and hardness tests and this and that of the, of the comparison to know I'd love to have an RB for a show car in like a Datsun, but I'd never drift an RB Jay-Z all the way for that one. But let's get started on the shit we got to do to this today. I've been looking for the last hour for my freaking other map sensor. I can't find it. Um... Now, I, I mean, regardless, I did, I did buy a three-bar map. It's like the DIY tuning eBay, like $40 or $50 three-bar map, whatever. It's just, I just wanted the one that goes in the stock location. Um, the stock map is good for 8.25 or 8.5 PSI, something like that. So I should be able to run the stock map, no problem. But I just wanted to see if I could get that three-bar on this and running because every time I try to do it, I can't find the settings for that specific three bar because it's not like an Omni power or whatever. I just don't know where the hell it is. So I'm going to keep looking, but if I can't find this freaking thing, I guess we're going to have to do this another day. And um, I guess I'm just going to have to wait for Don to get here. And uh, we'll do the timing on his car and make sure his car is running good. Should be pretty simple, but... Other than that, his kooky's doing good. My kooky's, you know, getting there pretty fast, so I'm happy about it. All right, well, if it's dark out in the next clip, you guys know why. All right, so I just randomly thought of this thing that I never did, and that was gap my plugs to 20 thousandths. So I have a little gauge jammy here, and I'm going to do that real quick and uh, see if anything changes. All right, well, they're in. Let me pull this thing out. 
Yeah, I'll clear that. Just gotta turn a little bit. All right, so uh, I got it started. I actually just uploaded a new base map because I just reset the entire ECU because I don't know. I feel like I just, I had too much to do with fucking with it, but I did a new base map, followed a guide online, a YouTube video from the guys over at Neptune and HRT, but I'm just going to go ahead and drive this up the road and just see how it acts. I'm not going to beat on it or anything. I just want to see if it still breaks up and if the check engine light still comes on. Um, I actually set the injector, uh, what the hell is it, the injector calibration something, I forgot, I'll, I'll tell you in a second, but I set it to uh, Acura RDX for the values and it seems to be doing a lot better. It seems to be revving a lot easier. Obviously it's not tuned, so I'm not going to freaking beat on it at all, but um, it seems a lot smoother. See, it's getting a little lean right there. I am recording right now, um, as in like uh, I'm recording the like damn data logging right now, but yeah, I just want to see where that lean spot is, and yeah, but I have to turn around and I have no freaking... steering so uh, I gotta go I'll be back in a second Dude, no overheating. My idle's a little rich. I just filmed that kind of for me, but I'll put it in the video. I just want to see like at what point the um, at what point does it need fuel because it is leaning out to like 17 or something or 18. That's where it's stuttering. But all right, let's go ahead. Open the gate with my card key. My team rocket shit. But, dude, it seems to be running like significantly better. It's not breaking up. The check engine light hasn't come on. So, uh, yeah. There's an option for boost settings or whatever. And all I did was uh, I just said, I, t I basically told the base map to add 5% fuel per PSI that the map reads. So that's good. And I can rev it up, obviously, in neutral because before, like, no matter what in neutral, it would hit, like, a anti-lag at friggin' like, 5, like, 5K RPM. And it was really weird. And no matter what, like, boost cut, like, settings I would do, it would just always do that. And I thought it was just, like, a map problem. But just resetting everything in the ECU and just doing a new base map, now it's a fresh, clean slate of just what it needs to, like, run and drive. Like, I'm confident I can drive this to the dyno if I needed to. But, uh, I think Jimmy's just gonna street tune it. So... Yeah, but I guess we wait for Donovan now and uh, and throw the timing light on his S14. So I will see you guys when he gets here in oh, not very long. So apparently on these, like on mine I could just lock the timing with the um, the jamming. These you unplug this thing right here, it's a TPS, yes. and then is this your vacuum leak fix? Yeah, all, all those hoses with screws in, they were all vacuum leaks that plugged. They were all disconnected? They're all literally just cut, like. That's weird. Your TPS looks like it has a wire going to it that isn't on it. I don't know. 
It's probably some evap shit because uh, maybe the engine was swapped. I don't know. It well, is swapped. It's S16. Okay, that's probably why there's wires missing. Yeah. Uh, you want to you want to do this? Yeah. And I'll start the car. And you're filming. Let's see if let's see if this works. So the goal here is to get the the engine running so that the exhaust isn't going. Yeah, so we're going to try to time it now. And if that doesn't work, I think the only thing left is the O2 sensor that obviously isn't plugged in and uh, is maybe causing it to run rich or lean. I don't know. Probably rich. I mean, now it just sounds like it's cam. That might be because the TPS is unplugged, but it's not popping. Yeah, it isn't popping. Seems like it's like, I don't know if you can zoom in on this and get it. Seems like it's it. You can see it right there. Kind of. Alright. You can kill it. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, it does come off. Right there. Four yeah. little screws. So, that wire is broken right there. And we have no idea what this plug is for. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like the actual math plug, like plugs in right here, though. And then there's another plug, not in the same harness set. Goes yeah, to this that thing. that plug is on on an adapter. I'll oh, take this filter off. Maybe, maybe that's a ground. I don't know. You have a so there's like a little diode in there. Someone tell me what that is. Is that like a barrel sensor or something? Because that's probably the problem. We're gonna try just unplugging this one and plugging the math in. Maybe it'll run better, but I think that he just needs a new sensor because that's uh, it's broken off right there. Whatever sensor that is, we're going to look it up. Alright, start up with just the broken jammy unplugged car 1, act 5. I don't know, but you definitely need a new one. That hesitation is what's kind of giving away the like the shitty idle and the hesitation while revving. Like we know it's timed. We know the math is clean. We just know that there's a broken wire on that weird sensor. So yeah, I'm gonna put the filter back in. Yeah. I think that's about it for that. Oh wait, no, you need that. Yeah. Alright, well we're gonna look that up and uh yeah, if anyone knows, let me know if you guys have had, you know, similar things happen to your KA. Your S13 KA more specifically, because that's what this is. And I'm just going to end the video there. About to chill and shit, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye.